Good afternoon, everyone. I'm making a new recipe that I found on allrecipes.com. And uh, you can watch me put my, my the things in here that I need to put in here. And I will tell you what, what I'm putting in here after I get it all in here. Oh, happy preparation day to you, too. Uh, as you can see, I'm slicing up with zucchini in here. That's what the recipe calls for. I added some onion. It did not call for that. I was looking at the reviews on it, and I added onion because they say it flavors it up a little bit. Now, I didn't have the fresh herb. They call for dried, or they call for fresh cilantro, basil, and oregano. I put the dried oregano and basil in. I did not put the cilantro in. I don't care for cilantro that well. I put, I just put dried in there. The other ones said they did the same thing. They didn't have the uh, regular, the fresh herb, so they... Oh, you're unwrapping your pig, chef. Yeah, lucky you. Um, as you can see, I'm slicing up the zucchini. And this is this this can be used. It's a stir fry. Hi, Alexis. I see that you're in here. Um, you can um, use this as a stir fry. You could probably also put it in tortillas and use it as a filling for tacos. Um, so this is going to be quite. Quite filling, I'm sure it will be. It only calls for one can of garbanzo beans, and if I see if it needs a little bit more, I'll add a little extra. Now, I did not, I did not peel, I did not peel the zucchini. You see, I, I just left it, I just left it, uh, you know, with the peeling on. I washed it real good. What I had in here was, I'll tell you just a minute. Now, it calls for mushrooms. I decided I'm not, I thought, don't put mushrooms in it because I don't like. It. So I decided I'm going to put a, an orange pepper in there instead of the mushrooms. That'll give it a little bit more color. I'll put that in there. It also calls for a tomato. And I'll put that in there as well. It goes on this. You don't have to cook it very long. I've got to get my garbanzo beans in here. It calls for one can, but it might take, might have to use two, but I'll have to see how it goes. If it needs two, I'll put two in there. Then it might be just enough. It might be a plenty. You don't want to add too much. Yeah, I think that'll be plenty. Because I don't want to over overpower it. But you could probably use this in tacos, burritos. It's supposed to be a stir fry, but uh, you can you can possibly use it in, in your tacos as a taco filling if you want to. Um, and they said, and you don't want to get the, the tomato mushy. I had some tomato left over from another recipe I had done, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of that tomato in there. They say to cook it for 20 minutes, but that's gonna really make everything mushy if you cook it too long. Welcome to everybody coming in. I share this out if you choose to. And if I don't see your comments right away, it's because I'm trying to get this done. Erlene was texting me when I was doing this, and I, I was I was trying to text her back and doing this. I'm trying to multitask doing this and texting and texting her at the same time. It doesn't work too well. <laughs> so I just let her know I'm trying to get ready for for Periscope, so I'll talk to her later, you know. Welcome to everybody that has come in. As you can see, I've got these mats from Pampered Chef. They're real good to have. It saves your counter. It saves your counter from, from getting ruined. That's, and they're real good to have, too. Don't have to cook this very long. I, they say about 10 minutes at the most because you don't want to get everything real mushy. This is like a stir fry. I may even put it inside the burritos, you know, to have a, and it'd be real good. And maybe put some like a um, day of cheese on top, shredded vegan cheese, not real cheese. So I think that would be real good. Turn this up just a little. Now I add a little bit more. These are, these are um, Roma tomatoes. So I thought I'd put a few of these Roman tomatoes in here. And I don't have to chop these, so I'm just going to slice these up as fine as I can get them. And put them in here. This is going to make it a little colorful. I, Like I said, people um, put onion in it. Oh, it does, doesn't it? People had said it was a little bland, and once they added onion, it seemed like it flavored it up. And this has also got a clove of garlic in it as well. Some of them doubled the garlic. Well, I just started with one clove of garlic. If it needs more, I can always add it. Because garlic, like I said, <laughs> you don't want to make it too overpowering. So I think maybe one Roman tomato is all it's going to need. So I don't know what this is going to do. 
they really, uh, really filled my pan up. So I think this is going to be a, a good stir fry. Like I said, I might even took, might even take and put these in my burrito. If you can see what, it, if you can see it, um, I'll, I'll go turn my light on. Might be a little better. There, you can see it better now. It's really, look how colorful this is. Isn't that pretty? I'm going to take a picture of it for Facebook and I'm going to post it on my group. And um, I think that, that uh, if I, I, I know that people might want to make it because it's going to be simple to make. And you can, you can use it as a side dish. You could put it on rice. Um, well, probably not much. Um, I don't know, for me it might make it still be more than one, but if you have a big family, you might want to double the recipe. You know, double everything you put in there. Put two zucchini in and put two cans of uh, garbanzo beans and, and anything else. You can take this and suit yourself. I, I've, I've tweaked the recipe. I added onions that it did not call for. It asked, it, people said they put a little salt in it too, and I may just do that because I don't, it, they say it'll, it'll flavor it up a little bit. So. I want to make sure I don't get too much salt on it, so I'll just do it this way. Because if you start pouring it on, I've done that already. Pour it on, and you can just get way too much, and then it's terrible. And that was sea salt, by the way. So, but I think this looks really good. I and I used a pretty good size onion, a big onion. I suppose it would, but I don't really have any right now. Um, yeah, but like I said, I'm, I might, since I do have tortillas, I might just take and, and use this in, in a tortilla and, and put like maybe a little um, the vegan cheese on top, like the chow cheese or the shredded cheese. I've got shredded day of cheese in my, in my um, refrigerator that I might put on it. But just don't have to cook this very long because if, if you cook it too long, it gets mushy. Now, I think the recipe called for... I don't know, half hour or something. Somebody said that's a little too long. I believe, I agree, because you don't want them like mush, you know. But I think this really looks pretty. When you look at it, it's colorful. I made it more colorful than it probably would have been otherwise. But I thought I want to add some onion because I like onion to flavor things up. And I, I don't know, onion just seems to, to add a little um, zip to, the, to your foods that you may not, may not, Otherwise, and, and and adding the tomato, I did that as well. And like I said, I I put in an, an orange orange pepper. I didn't want to add a red pepper since I'm already putting the tomato in. So I put in an orange pepper in lieu of the mushrooms. I put that in instead of the mushrooms. So I would have a little bit more color. And as you can see, I got a little color in here. Doesn't this look pretty? Uh, and I, I really think, I really like the looks of it. Now, they call for fresh herbs if you don't have them, like your cilantro, your oregano. They call for a tablespoon of each. Basil, to, to, uh, basil, oregano, and cilantro, they say fresh. Now, some I, I looked at the reviews, they didn't have it, so they used the, the dried. That's all I have, and they said it still came out good. But you can leave all of them out, or just leave one of them out, or two of them out. I just left the cilantro out. Um, my daughter thinks it tastes like toilet water. <laughs> You know, it can be overpowering, so I didn't want to use it. Um, yes, exactly, exactly. There, there is, it is beautiful colors, isn't it? <coughs> it is. I wanted to make it colorful. I thought by adding the orange pepper along with the tomato, that's going to put the little color in it that it needed. And of course, your zucchini has still got the... Uh, um, peel on it which is gives you the green there and of course your herbs are green but you don't want too much green so maybe making the dried herbs made it come out okay because I don't I I don't have a lot of one color overpowering it you've got a little bit of everything in there <coughs> and uh, it's this is simple to make it doesn't take that many ingredients whatever you have in your refrigerator or your pantry and just because I happen to and these garbanzo beans are organic. I buy a lot of gar garbanzo beans. Isn't it though? It really is. I buy a lot of garbanzo beans, so it's not hard for me to go and go ahead and use, use them and 
put them in the dishes. Whoops. Let me get some water. <laughs> But like I said, when I make recipes, I tweak them to my liking because there may be something in there that I won't eat or something that I will. So this didn't call for onions, but I put it in there. I left the mushrooms out, put onions in it, and put the pepper in it instead. And everything I put in here is healthy for you. And one clove of garlic. I took my garlic press. And, and if, if you weren't in here yesterday... <coughs> to see the demonstration of, of the, me making uh, mince and garlic with the garlic press, go back and watch that periscope because I leave all my periscopes up. It should still be there and you can go ahead and watch it because uh, um, Alexis said I did a real good, good uh, demonstration of it because I thought that people might want to see how it was done. And I, I wasn't going to do this today, but I happened to see this on allrecipes.com. I had seen the recipe before, but didn't save it. And I thought, I'm going to save this today, and I'm going to make it. <coughs> this is actually what it calls for. I'll give you the recipe on Facebook anyway. A little bit more than a year. I started sometime last year, but I'm trying to recall exactly when that was. I'm not, <laughs> I don't even remember when it was that I became vegan. But it's, I've lost um, well over 50 pounds because I'm, I went from 250 and I'm down to 192.5. When I weighed myself the other day, it was 192.5. So I've lost well over 50 pounds. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, it, you know, I didn't put the weight on overnight. And I knew I wasn't going to lose it overnight either. It takes a, a while. You have to be diligent, though, and you have to be willing to keep going. Like I said before, there's probably going to be a stopping point where it's not really going to do much more. And I'll have to deal with that. But as, in the meantime, as long as I'm going to lose weight, I'm going to keep on going. I'm going to eat healthy and I'm going to share my recipes with others so that they can learn how to make the same things I do. No. No, I won't. You know, I pass them. I pass the meat in the store and I don't even give it a second look. Think of it this way. When you see that animal, that meat in the store, stop and think of what that poor animal went through to be slaughtered so you have it on your dinner table. When you think about it, it brings tears to my eyes because those animals don't deserve to die so we can eat them. They deserve to live too. They got families, they got breath, they have feelings too. And we're, and people eating them, they're stripping them of all their feelings take, like, by having them slaughtered like that. I just don't agree with that. So I won't eat meat. Not at all. I don't need it. I've come completely off of meat. I've come completely off of uh, milk, off of cheese, off of eggs. If I want to have, if I want to make anything that has eggs in it, I will use chia. You can use chia seeds or you can use flax meal to make eggs. I think Erlene has, has used chia seeds to make eggs. Oh, and there's also egg replacer as well. But you don't need eggs. You're better off not to have them. So that's why I don't eat them, because I feel much better. I use almond milk. That's what I put in my cereal. Um, now, when I I make recipes that call for, uh, for um, non-dairy milk, I use the um, unsweetened kind. But for my cereal... I use the vanilla almond milk. In fact, I will get out and show you exactly what, because I just bought some the other day. This is what I use. It's carrageenan free. It says carrageenan free right on it, right here. It says carrageenan free. Um, this is very good. And these containers are real nice. In fact, if I start making my own almond milk, I'll put them in here. But I'll have to put this back because I still got it's got almond milk in, as you can see. But this is real good almond milk. They, Walmart has started carrying this now, and I don't think they've had it too awful long. But this is a Khalifa Khalifia Farms. I don't know exactly where they're at. Um, this I'm not. I can't. I don't remember what it is. I think it's three something. I'm not too sure. But let me put this back. Oh yeah, me too. <laughs> You know, being MSG free, a lot of people don't understand that MSG is not good for you. You know, you don't want GMOs, you don't want MSG. Um, 
Yeah, cut off all processed foods. Processed foods are not good for you. I always say make your own. That's why Alexis makes her own every morning. She makes breakfast for Bryce, and she makes a lunch for her, and you and her mom. She she knows that, that it's better to make your own than to buy anything processed. Uh, yeah, too much of it is. Yes, it is bad for you. I agree. I eat it, but eat it very, very sparingly because it's like my ex-husband said, pasta, pizza, and all that more or less are like gut filler. That's about all they do. They just fill you up and nothing else. They put the weight back on that you're trying to lose, and I'm not about to defeat the purpose and go back to eating something that I know is going to harm me. You know, I do eat noodles once in a while. I do eat mac and cheese with, with vegan cheese, but very, very sparingly. Very sparingly. I'll eat it maybe, fix it for myself and finish it up, and then I won't fix it again for a while. So that's what I do. I just I just leave it go and don't eat it. But you can see this is this is going to be getting, you don't want to get it too done because you want to get a mic mush, but look at this. Doesn't this look pretty? Look at that. Colorful. Like I said, I'll take a picture of this and post it up on Facebook, post it up into my group so that people people can make it themselves. But if you make your own food, at least you know. Um, what about rice? Oh, yeah, I do eat rice. I do eat um, basmati rice, the brown rice. I like that the best. I don't, cons I don't uh, think anybody should eat the white rice. It's kind of um, not as good for you as the, as the brown rice is. I, let's put it this way. I'll eat it, but I'm not a, a lover of rice. Now, if a recipe calls for it and I have it, I'll put it in there. But to eat it, you know, just, you know, cook it and eat it, I don't really care for rice. And that's simply because when I lived in Hawaii, there was a lot of rice in Hawaii. And I got so sick of eating it that I just didn't want it anymore. You know, and the rice they had there was so, um, I don't know the word I want to use, but it was so, it was, like, it was like glue that you could throw it against the wall and it would stick to the wall. That's how bad it was. Yes, if I can find a, if I can find a good recipe for it, yes, I will definitely will. Because there's a lot of, you can make chickpea burgers, make black bean burgers. I have to find a good recipe for it. I do have a recipe for tofu burgers that I made a while back. I did periscope those. Um. Oh, you use uh, ja I don't think I've ever used jasmine rice, but like I said, I can. I do have rice on hand, but I only use it and put it in my recipes. I won't eat it by itself. I don't really care for it that well. And if I can, uh, you know, if I can get by without eating, eating, using it, I will. I mean, when you've been in Hawaii, been there and ate as much rice as I did there, because you know there's Orientals and they eat a lot of rice, you know, and there was a lot of curry, which was very spicy. By the time I got out of Hawaii, got back to the mainland, I didn't want that stuff anymore because I just ate way too much of it. Oh, does it have a nice flavor? Some of it's the basmati. The basmati, I buy uh, the basmati rice, which is organic. It's real good, too. But like I said, I eat it sparingly because I don't really care for rice. I'd rather not have it. Um, <laughs> yeah, you're right. It would get boring because there's no flavor to rice. Now, if you take... If you take rice and you add it to a dish, that's different. But to eat it by itself, no, it's boring. You're right. It's very boring. And that's why one reason why I don't eat it, because it doesn't have much of a flavor to it. And I don't want anything like that. I don't want anything that doesn't have any flavor. I like stuff that have a nice flavor. And look at this, how nice this is going to be. I think I'll shut it off because I don't want to get it too done. But that really looks good. And I could just, you know, just sit there and, you know, simmer for a little bit. But make your own, if at all possible. Learn how to to make your own food. You know, I have, since I've been a, a vegan, I've been having so much fun cooking because I, I make my own foods all the time. I know, I never have. I don't really care for curry. Now, there are some recipes on allrecipes.com for curry. But curry is very, very spicy. That's what I'm saying. When I was in Hawaii, there was a lot of curry there, and it was very, very spicy. I tried it once, and <laughs> boy, I tell you, I wish I'd never had because it was just way too spicy for me. I mean, it's like you got to go drink water all the time. I'm not a person, uh, well, I should say I am a person that does not like much spice. I don't care for spices. I never have. The milder, the better. 
You know, if I can get by without eating a lot of spice, I will. Because I think curry is too spicy. Now, it may other people may like it a lot, but I don't. Um, yeah, I do. I do like flavor, yes. But I don't like to have spice in it. Um, or you can get a... Oh. Oh, that's... Oh, I, I never knew that. Um, yes, I am. Yes, I am. Seventh-day Adventist Christian. Yes, I, I did not know that. See, you people coming on here and commenting helps me learn, too, because I didn't know that. You know, we we all learn. You learn from me, and I learn from you, and that's, the, what, that's what it's all about. That's why I come in here doing these, because we all learn from each other. You know, we come together, and we, and we voice our opinions, and, and you tell me something, and I tell you something, and we, we decide what is best to do, you know. And I come, like I said, I come in here, somebody said yesterday I come in here and I don't criticize, which I don't. Because I'm a vegan, but I know there's other people that aren't. That's fine. If they don't want to be vegan, because it's not meant for everybody. Nor is buying organic foods meant for everybody either. Because I buy organic when I can afford to. But believe me, to buy it all the time is very, very expensive. It can be cost prohibitive at times, but it is better for you, which is true. But it can be cost prohibitive. I just try to make sure that I, if I can't get organic, I get at least G, uh, non-GMO. You want that. You want something that doesn't have GMO in it, which is a lot better for you. Oh, this this is a... Yeah, well, I used to eat beef all the time, but this doesn't have a beef in it. This has got chickpeas in it, which is a lot better for you than beef. You know, I used to eat a lot. Of, I used to buy a lot of stir fry and eat it. But I won't do that anymore. Now that I've got this recipe for stir fry, I just get open up a can of chickpeas, add to it what I want, and make it myself. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Because I would much rather make it myself than try to make it from the store. No, I do not use mushrooms. I don't like them, and I don't use them. They are a fungus. That is the reason we do not use mushrooms, because they are a fungus, and I cannot just stomach the flavor of them. There's something about them that I just don't care for. Um, they are an acquired taste. So since I don't like them, and they are a fungus, and whenever I see them, see it in foods, I just go and just not even put it in there. I omit it completely. So. Oh, okay. See, you're giving me a lot of ideas. Um, yes, yes, you can add seasoning, exactly. Well, this has got, like I said, it's got your uh, basil and oregano in it, dried basil and oregano. And it's got a clove of garlic in it. I put a little salt in it. It's got your zucchini in it and a, um, your chickpeas and, and an orange um, pepper that I had in the refrigerator I wanted to use. So I thought, this gives it a little bit more color, very flavorful. And you know, by not uh, peeling the uh, the zucchini, you got you got that green in here too. As you can see, there's a lot of pretty green. I mean, this gives it the flavor that I need, and I don't need to cook this very much because I don't want to make it mushy. Because you just have to just for a little bit, and I think that looks really good. Um, they say brown rice is better than white. Now, like I said, in Hawaii, they used white rice, and it was so sticky and gluey. Like I said, gooey that you could take the rice and you could throw it up against the wall and it'd stick to it. That's how bad it was. And I couldn't stand the rice after a while. I mean, because that was their main staple over there because you you have Orientals. You have your Japanese there. You have your Chinese. You have your... They come from uh, Thailand and moved over there to Hawaii. And that's their staple item, plus a lot of curry. You have... Well, Indians, I think, eat curry. There's a lot of Indians over there, too. So you have your different dialects over there so that's what they choose to eat, you know, and either you eat it or you don't. Um, yeah, curry is an Indian food. Yes, it is. Curry, curry is, uh, yeah. But yet a lot of people like the, and I noticed a lot of Japanese and Chinese over there, they would eat the curry. Even though it's an Indian food, they still ate it, you know. You know, maybe they've chosen to put that in there in their, as a staple in their diet. Now, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, oh, you know that's that that sounds good. Yes, uh, that does make sense to when you cook it. 
put put vegetables and stuff in it that it doesn't have, have that uh, dull flavor. That makes a lot of sense. That way you perk the rice up. I'm going to have to try that sometime. I'm going to find a recipe that I can do that with. Now, somebody wants me to do veggie burgers, and I'll certainly try to find a recipe for that. But since you follow me on Periscope, I did a while back, and I don't know how long ago it was. It was quite a while ago that I did a recipe with tofu burgers. So you just have to look at it. I know some people don't care for tofu, but actually in the burgers, they didn't taste bad. You, to, tofu itself does not have a flavor, but when you start adding it to other things, like tofu scramble, you start putting stuff into it, then it add, then it says it's quite so bad. But by itself, no, it doesn't have a taste. Um, Oh, kale, lettuce, yes, right. Um, I'm not a watch or call a real fan of kale, although it's okay. Spinach, mm, I can take it or leave that too. But things like, uh, you know, lettuce, cabbage, carrots, celery, um, things like that, I love those. You know, a lot of the vegetables are an acquired taste. I don't eat a lot of them, you know, but I'll eat anything that, that I'll get. Let's, let's put it this way. I'll try something once, and if I don't like it after that, I won't make it again, you know. Um, oh, okay, yeah, turmeric, I use turmeric a lot. Turmeric is a, is a, is a good uh, spice. I use that when I make my, my tofu scramble, because what it does, it, it uh, gives it an extra flavor. Of course, in your nutritional yeast kind of uh, it makes it a little yellow, but so, so is the turmeric. The turmeric gives it the color. You know, I've, and I've already made butter. Of course, the butter I make now doesn't have turmeric in it, but the plant-based butter I used to make before had turmeric in it, gave it a little bit of color. And uh, turmeric is very, very good. It's healthy for you. A lot of people probably don't realize that, but turmeric is one thing you should put in your diet a lot of because it's really good for you. I know a lot of people won't eat a lot of things. That a lot of them won't eat garlic, you know. Um, but I think garlic flavors the food up so well. It really it puts a lot of flavor into your food. It gives it the flavor it would not have had otherwise because it it makes it dull. I don't like anything that that doesn't have flavor to it. You know, if the, I didn't put onions in here and I didn't, didn't add the garlic and didn't add some of the stuff to it, it probably wouldn't have a very good taste. I'm going to get a fork or a spoon and I'm going to try that and see what it tastes like and let you know. I'm just going to take a little bit in here and I'm going to see what it's like. Just so. Very different. Mm -hmm. uh, the zucchini is not mushy. It's just right. You don't want it mushy, but yet you want a little soft. I may have to put it on a little longer to soften it up a little bit more, but I don't want it like mush. But it's, it's actually not too bad right now the way it is, but I'm going to put it on a little longer. Um, I'm hesitating to do too much because of the chickpeas. You don't want them getting like mush because they're already they're already done anyway in the can. But I think this look at that the flavors the flavors just come together beautifully and I make this um yes it is. I think what I'll do I've got some burritos and I may just put them inside that and eat them or I can eat it like this too. It doesn't really matter. Because I haven't had my lunch yet. No, it's going on 1 o'clock and I haven't had it yet. But, uh, yeah, I haven't decided if I'm going to make it into a taco or I'm going to eat it the way it is. Because I, I think it'll be good just the way it is, too. Or, you know, could have a potato with it or anything I want. You know, what? you can't beat a good meal like this. Vegetables. Oh, this is vegetables and it's all good. You know, nothing that's going to hurt me and everything that's going to help and make me feel better. Um... Oh, does it? Oh, good. Um, and if people don't under, don't know, don't know that much about chickpeas, they are very healthy. They are very good. They call them beans, even though they're they're round. They almost look like peas. Why they're called chickpeas, I don't know. That's the that's the clinical term. I guess garbanzo beans is what they're really called. They're, and chickpeas is another name for them. That's why I put chickpea in the in the title because people may not understand that they're chickpeas. They're the same as garbanzos, but they would ask otherwise. But hi, good afternoon, good to see you. Welcome. This is my my lunch for today. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. 
it's a it's got chickpeas in it it's got uh, a zucchini tomato and I've got dried oregano in it and I've got dried basil in it I put an onion in it that it did not call for it calls for one clove of garlic which I put that in there but the onion in that will flavor it up quite a bit you want and it didn't call for salt either and I might have to add a little bit more salt I don't like to put too much on there but I added a little bit more things to it than, than what it called for. That's what you can do with these recipes. Tweak them to suit yourself. Because you're not going to like, Hi, River, good to see you. You just, you're in time when I'm still on. And I could show you that my, my chickpea stir fry that I made. Uh, <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> doesn't it, though? Hi. Hi, River, good to see you. Welcome. Thank you for coming in. Um... But you know something? I like making my own food because I know what's in it. I don't have to guess. I don't have to scratch my head and say, well, now what's in there? You know, I know what I put in here. I've got the recipe right in front of me. Like I said, this recipe, I tweaked it. I put things in it that it didn't call for, and I left things out that it did call for, like mushrooms. I left them completely out. It didn't call for, for uh, an orange pepper, but I put that in there in place of the mushrooms. It didn't call for onions either, but I, put, I thought I'd put that in there because that'll flavor it up a little better. Onions always flavor up your dish. Always. Good afternoon, Janet. I didn't see you come on. Welcome. And and uh, good to see you. And you can share this out. Um, this has got a lot of color in it. Very colorful. Very, very colorful. And I'm glad I could come in here and... Doesn't it, though? I've already taken a taking a taste of it and it tastes very very good it's different it really is it's very different but you can eat it this way you can put it on rice you can put it in um, a burrito and make it as a taco if you wanted to you know however you wanted to do it some people put it so they put it on rice you can do it any any way you want but this is a stir fry so so do with it as you wish but when I saw this I thought oh my goodness this is going to be a lovely meal for me today um, because I don't have much to fix for lunch. And I've been eating a lot of tacos lately, you know, and I've got the vegan taco filling that I had done on my Periscope once before that I used in my tacos that calls for chickpeas. But I thought, well, I'll just take a can of chickpeas and make this. This is just as good. And healthy? Oh, my. This is going to be so healthy. And I know I'm going to enjoy it. I still have a little bit of chili left. I've been eating that, and I'm going to save it for tomorrow for after church so I can come home and eat it up. But, uh, yeah, I did. I used um, dried oregano, dried basil. And they call for, for uh, um, actually, fresh oregano, basil, and cilantro. I didn't have any of those. So I used the dried oregano and dried basil, and I left the cilantro out. I'm not real in favor of cilantro, especially that much of it. So... <clears throat> Yeah, I probably could, but I would prefer not to. Um, I try to eat different things. I eat a lot of. I do eat a lot of vegetables. Though, vegetables, though, if I can find, if I can find a recipe that has vegetables in it, yes. But on my taco bean, uh, yeah, my be, vegan bean filling does have chickpeas in it, and I can put anything in that I want. You know, I could add other things to it, uh, uh, you know, I shredded cheese or whatever I want, and you know, vegan cheese, of course, on top. So I made this to suit me, because somebody else may not make it this way. I'm going to post the recipe on Facebook just the way it is on the recipe, and people can, and I will tell you what I used, and people can make it any way they choose, and see how, which way they like it the best, because some people are going to like it with the mushrooms in it. Of course, like I said, I don't eat mushrooms because they're a fungus and I don't care for the taste of them anyway. So, people may not like your uh, pepper in it. They don't have to put pepper in it. Just stick by the recipe the first time. And usually I do. I usually make the recipe the way it calls for the very first time. But since I didn't have some of the things it called for, well, I thought I'll just deviate and I'll just make it my own recipe that way. That's what I like about recipes I find. I can take them and I can do the way, make them the way I want. They've become my recipe then because I've changed it. I fixed it to my liking and I know what I can eat. <clears throat> That's right. That's exactly, that's exactly right. I can eat what I want, exactly. That gives me the freedom and I can, uh, you know, if I choose not to eat one day, 
You know, I can choose that way too, although I don't do that. But I can eat very little, or I can eat a lot, or whatever I want. I don't have to worry about it. When my ex-husband comes for the holidays and I, I fix, fix for him, I fix a little bit more because he, he still eats his meat. So I don't know what I'm going to do then because he knows I don't eat meat, so I'll get it for him and then I just won't eat it. That's all I can I can say. But, you know, when I live by myself, I can fix things the way I want to my taste buds because, you know, everybody's taste buds are different. Some may not like this the way I made it. They're going to want to make it the, uh, differently. So and go ahead, do that. We can, we can all learn from each other. Take the recipe and make it to suit yourself. Tweak it any way you like. If you want to leave the recipe the, the exact way it is, feel free to do so. Use your fresh herbs. Use your mushrooms if you're not a vegan and put that in there. Make it just the way it calls for. See how you like it. Some people, even though they tried it the way it was without the onions and stuff, because uh, I looked at the reviews before I come in here and, and did this periscope, and people were saying it was very bland because it didn't have onions in it. But when you put the onions in it, that seems that seems to wake up the flavor. Onions seem to do that, wake up the flavor. And they put a little bit more garlic. I, I only added one clove of garlic. I could have put a little bit more. But there again, garlic can be overpowering. You know, just one clove. Because it was a pretty good-sized clove. I had to cut it in half to use my garlic press. So I put, I just... You know, just one big clove, and that was it. That's all I needed to do, and it tastes really good. I like the color of it. I, I, I really do. I mean, I'm really pleased with this. You know, a lot of the recipes I make, I'm not too sure about them if I'm ever going to make them again. But I believe this is a keeper. I will make it again. I have made some before that. Huh, I wish I hadn't made them in the first place. But you know, you learn. If you don't make them, you don't know what they're going to taste like. And once you've made them, then you find out if you like it or not. You try it. Oh, yeah, it is colorful, isn't it? That's why I added the orange pepper. I thought, well, putting an orange pepper in here, I could have put yellow in it too, but I thought, well, you already have yellow chickpeas, so I'll just add orange. you got orange, red, and green in here already. Of course, with the chickpeas, you got the yellow too. I didn't see what that comment was. I'll go back and look at it. But I, I just love being able to make things for myself. <clears throat> uh, once in a while I don't I don't do a lot of baking but I do once in a while yes and I do make my fudge which I haven't made in a while I'll go back to making it again um, I've been doing a lot more cooking on the stove than, than cook uh, simply because this summer has been a very very hot one and I didn't want to have my oven going because my house is already hot and I didn't want to heat it up anymore the kitchen especially by having the oven going. So once it starts cooling down and gets to a manageable temperature, then I'll start I'll start baking again. Because there are things I want to bake and I want to come on here and show you how to bake them and you know do a scope on them. So and that's in the near future, so God willing anyway, but I wanted to come in here and do this while I still had the opportunity because I haven't had my lunch yet and I thought, well this is a good time to do this. So people can see exactly what I've made, they can try to make it themselves, make it any way you like, add to it what you want, take out what you don't want, you know, and I could have probably put more in here than what's in here, but I like it just the way it is. The zucchini with the, with the uh, peeling on gives it that flavor too, and I, and you know, I haven't really eaten zucchinis just until recently. When I made that zucchini bread, that's the first time I ever made zucchinis, and I put them in salads too. And I don't know why I never I never ate them. I kind of hesitated doing it. But they're so close to pickles in the flavor anyway. You know, cucumbers. I think they're from the cucumber family. Part, anyway. But I don't know why I never did. But I like making things with zucchini. Now I, I can do that. I can make things with zucchini and put them in more recipes. Um, oh, you're so welcome. I'm glad I could share. I will continue to share as much as I can. Because... I help you, you help me, because I learn a lot from you as much as you learn from me. We learn from each other, and that's what it's all about, being able to come on here and show you what I've learned, a recipe that I found that I've never made before, and I think it turned out pretty good for the very first time. I mean, there have been some recipes in here that I tried once, and that was, <laughs> I didn't like the, like I said before, I don't like the flavor of them, and I thought, well, I'm not making them again, so I just tossed the recipe out, you know. 
but if I like it, I'll make it again. But I like to vary, you know, I like different recipes, but I, you know, I have so many recipes now, and I keep finding more all the time, so, and Erling's the same too, we keep finding recipes. So we're always going to have new things to make. Of course, she's got a husband and son to, concern, to be worried about too, so she has to make what they like. But myself, you know, if I don't like it, I'm not going to fix it. I don't have anybody else to, to account for but myself, and that's a good thing, you know, really, to be able to, to make things the way I like it, and, and if I don't like it, I don't ever fix it again. Oh, you good, Erlene, good. I know I was going to ask you about the cooking class. Um, oh, yeah. Now, my dogs are asleep right now. You're glad they're outside. They're not even howling right now, but no, I don't, I don't forget about my dogs, you know. They, I feed them every day and water them and things like that. But, you know, I'm so glad that I could come in here and, and share this with you and let you see what I learned how to make again. You know, and, and the fact that I'm going to get those pots and pans, I'm going to have to wait a while for those, but the fact that they'll be coming probably next week or the week after, it's going to make me want to cook all the more because I was watching Alexis' scope this morning, the scope that she has on when I'm still asleep, and I watched the replay. And she used the 8-inch one and had the handle off of it. You don't have to really use oil or anything in them, but she did because she wanted the egg to slide back and forth when she was making it for her son. I thought, well, that is really cool, you know. I like that when you can make it slide around like that. So I'll be getting anxious to use those because I, you know, it'll make me want to cook all that much more, you know. Yeah, that is kind of funny. It was funny to watch that egg and the way she flipped it. I thought, boy, she did a good job flipping out of it. And then me tried to flip it like that, it probably flipped it on the floor. You know, or a pancake or something, but it flipped it on the floor. I'm sure it would real, do real good on pancakes or waffles. But I'll be get, getting anxious to get those pans. And I'll just have to wait a little while longer because they were just sent out last night. But I'll have to wait probably, like I said, till you know, next week. Next week or the week after to get them. Because it takes about a week to a week and a half for me since I'm clear across the country. It comes out of Illinois. It's like it comes Pony Express to me. So it takes a little while to, for me to get it. But like I said yesterday, when I do get it, Alexis wants me to let her know because she wants to be sure and come in my periscope. And I do plan on opening it up and right in front of you, opening the box up so that you can see the pots and pans and everything that I got. So I'm looking forward to that. But that's going to be a little while yet. I'll be coming on several times before that again of course to, you know do cooking scopes and you know my weekend scopes that I normally do so you can look forward to that but I think I'm going to go right now because I got to get ready to eat this but I thank you all for coming in and sharing this out and being here and learning from me and uh, me learning from you and I hope that your weekend goes great and I hope that you have a, a blessed Sabbath those that are Sabbath keepers that your, your Sabbath is a blessed one and, and until we meet again, take care. God bless.